and welcome to Mornings. I'm Fiona Hodson. And I'm Bella Koch. It was an unbelievable week here at North Penn High School. We have added not one, but two state championships and one national championship. So let's get you all caught up. The North Penn Marching Knights are national champions. And with a final score of 95.2, our North Penn Marching Knights won the Captain, Caption Award for Best Overall Effect and are the 2021 U.S. Bands Group 4 Open National Champions at the MetLife Stadium this past weekend. The Knights performed their show Skybound on Saturday and walked away with, with first place. In addition to their season finale, the Knights had their final showcase at Crawford Stadium on Monday. Gates opened at 7 p.m. The night was kicked off with Mr. Santinello doing introductions. Then all the seniors were honored and recognized. And finally, the March Knights performed Skybound. The night was filled with family, friends, laughter, and making memories as the 2021 competition season comes to an end. Once again, a huge congratulations to the North Penn Marching Knights on a spectacular season. Isha Velga has done it again. Velga traveled to District 1 tennis at the PIAA Championships on Saturday in Hershey. The North Penn Junior continued her torrid season, not dropping a set for the entire PIAA tournament and capturing the win of state champ. Winning states felt really good just because North Penn isn't really known for its tennis, so it was good to put us out there. The competitors, a lot of them, they were, they're my close friends. We train at the same club and they're all really good players, so it was fun to compete against them. Just feeling really good because winning states is obviously not easy. I always played tennis with my sister just because she's got to try out a lot of different sports, but tennis really stuck, so I just got into tennis. And then I just kept on playing since I was five. Definitely going to try and play in college, preferably D1, but we'll see. Here comes number two, Peter Williamson to number 12, Gavin Brook. Andy Fink is going to take the ball, and that's North Penn. States win. Beautiful showing by North Penn boys tonight. Seven to six is our final score. The team jumping North in the Penn. pool. North Penn boys water polo team is once again PA Huge state champions. They have won the title of state team. champs eight times. We're North Penn boys water polo defeated the South to seven to six on Saturday, to with goals being shot by Aiden Fakish, Nathan Rawa, Tim North Schwar, North and Bobby Face. Congrats, boys, on your win! And now we get ready to not only hang another water polo state banner for the girls, but also for the boys. Mr. Brumbaugh is back again to test your knowledge on this week's challenge. Hey, welcome to this week's Brimbaugh Challenge. A little flashback to political power. On this date, what former seminarian studying to be a priest became one of the most reviled leaders of the 20th century? The answer when we get back. North Penn JROTC cadets have been extremely busy within the past few weeks. Yesterday, the cadets honored veterans by performing ceremonies at Gwinnett Square Elementary School and a graduation recognition ceremony of North Penn graduates who have served here in our auditorium. Today, they will be traveling to Schwenk Field Manor to honor the veterans who reside there. They have completed the orienteering event in which they use their navigational skills along with a map and compass to find checkpoints around Green Lane Park. They have also participated in the Baton Memorial March. This 14.5 mile, mile hike around Valley Forge National Park is to remember the 76,000 American and Filipino prisoner of war individuals who were forced to trek 66 miles. 987 out of the 76,000 survived the horrific experience during World War II. MPHS held a veteran recognition ceremony for four heroes who left high school without receiving their diploma to fight for their country. We are proud to welcome our four newest graduates of NPHS, Howard Allen Barrick, David Charles Turner, Mark T. Linderman, Michael Joseph Rollinghoff. You can view the ceremony this weekend on youtube.com slash NPTV. Thank you to all who are serving or have served this great country of ours. 
We have Michael Cassell in the studio this morning with the week's lowdown. How are you this morning, Michael? I'm doing great this morning. Thanks, Fiona and Bella. I hope you guys are too. Let's get to caught up with this week's lowdown. The Batman Club is hosting four doubles tournament on the Wednesday, November 17th after school in Navy and Columbia. Sign-ups are first come and first serve and will be capped at 28 terms. You must sign in with a partner when you check in. Any questions, please see or email Mrs. Pensky. North Penn Trubador Arts and Literature Magazine presents Paradox Contradiction. Any students can cook, email creative pieces and the submission deadline is December 6th. You can find more information on the high school website. Today is the last day the MPHS Key Club members are having a cook club cl cook collection for the Metzvaz Foundation. We need brand new or gently, very gently warmed quotes for infants to middle school age children. There's a collection box outside Miss, Mrs. Law's office. And finally, a quick reminder for our winter athlete to make sure our paperwork is done and turned in by November 19th. Any questions on what needs to be done before North Penn kicks off our winter sports season? You can meet with Mr. Walsh or Mrs. Law in the athletics office in the H Power hallway. That's all we have for this week's lowdown. I'm Michael Cassell, presenting it back to the desk. Thank you, Michael. English students had the honor of being taught by a guest speaker. A new dual enrollment course, which is writing intensive, Mrs. Weiser thought it would be helpful for students to hear from a published author. The class was chatting with local writer and Temple professor Liz Moore, author of the acclaimed novel Long Bright River, which takes place in Kensington amid the wreckage of heroin addiction. We were in the midst of our narrative unit, working on finding our voices in our writing. Miss Moore talked to the students about her writing process and answered their questions about what it's like to write for a living. The students could tell that she was honest about what it's like to be a writer. It's a job, and there are days where you feel defeated, but when you get into the groove, there's nothing like it. The visit gave students the opportunity to see how writing can be difficult and tricky, even for someone who It takes hard work, perseverance, and practice. North Penn's Happiness Club was spreading joy throughout the school and giving students another reason to smile. The club posted sticky notes all over North Penn to help make every student's day better. Thank you, Happiness Club. We love you, too. The North Penn High School Art Department is proud to present the inaugural North Penn Alumni Art Show. In-person shows for students will take place November 8th through the 30th on the J-Pod monitors. A virtual show for the North Penn High School community will take place on November 15th. Congrats to all alumni whose artwork will be shown during the show. We have Eric Lewis here this morning to give you this week's sports update. How are you this morning, Eric? Oh, I'm doing great, Fiona and Bella, on this rainy day at North Penn. A lot has happened in sports this past week, so let's get you all caught up. On the turf, the boys played the Penn Ridge Rams Friday, defeating the 3-2 in soccer, and secured their spot for state. Goals were scored, scored by Alex Stewart and the unexpected freshman Dan Lee, who scored two goals. For the state championship bracket, the boys traveled to Central Dolphin, but unfortunately lost to the Elephants with a final score of 4-1. Congrats, boys, on a great season. Staying on the turf, the North Penn Knights football team came out on top against the CB South Titans for the first round of playoffs. The Knights secured the win with three touchdowns from Levi Carroll, Tyler Beam, Ethan Spann, Jalen Edwards, and another unexpected freshman, Jay Ford King. The boys take on Ridley tonight, so come on out to support the boys in round two. Tickets are $5, and you will need your ID to enter. Do not forget. Heading inside and on the ice, the North Penn ice hockey team had their season opener against the Pensbury Falcons on Wednesday. The boys unfortunately lost to the Falcons with a final score of 8-0. They face off on Wednesday against the Chamonix at Hatfield Ice. That's all we have for this week's sports update. I'm Eric Lewis, sending it back to the desk. Thank you, Eric. As it gets colder outside and we're forced inside, there's different ways to pass the time. One of the ways could be playing a board game, so we wanted to know what your favorite game is. My favorite board game is Monopoly. 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 Uh, yeah, my favorite board game is Monopoly. My favorite board game is Monopoly. Clue. My favorite board game is Clue. Clue. Connect Four. The game of the goose. My favorite board game is Sorry. My favorite board game is Sorry. My favorite board game is Battleship. Candyland. I like chess. My favorite board game would be chess. Mine's Settler of Catan. My favorite board game is Uno. My favorite board game is Life. 
going to be another big one for North Penn. North Penn Theatre celebrates its 50th anniversary. We have Mr. Monero in the studio with Nick Bressler to talk more about the celebration. Mr. Monero? Fiona, thank you very much. Good Friday morning, North Penn High School. Nick, it is a rainy morning. It, is it sure not? is. But do not let that fool you. Cecily Tynan told me the rain is moving out. We're going to have a beautiful weekend. Great for football tonight and great for theater tomorrow night. So That's Nick, right. Tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m., live theater comes back to the auditorium for the first time since pre-pandemic times, right? It's very exciting. What's going on tomorrow night? All right. So tomorrow night will be our performance of All Together Now. It is a musical review. So there is no one single story throughout, but it's a collection of songs that's going to be performed not only by NPHS students, but also alumni who've graduated from our program. They're going to be coming back and uh, performing for us. Is there a song like, all together now? Like, is there anything like that? Well, there's going to be a bunch of songs, okay, Mr. Okay. Monero. So you'll all right. just have to wait and see. All right, so what if somebody wants to go? All right, well. Give us the deets. If you want to attend this performance, uh, tickets are going to be $5 for students and $10 for adults. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is it always more money for adults? That's age discrimination. I Nick. don't know, Mr. Monero. I mean, adults usually have like jobs that they get paid for. Oh, so. that's right. What if you're a child at heart? How much does it cost? Uh, you still know, $10? I'm going to have to ask my director about that, but I'm okay. pretty sure it's still the same $10. All right. Anyway, but for students, $5, $10 for adults, that's the best ticket in town right now. Yeah, it's a good price. It's a great show. It's a lot of fun. If you want to buy your tickets, you can either get them at the door on show night, or you can visit the NPHS Theater website and buy your tickets there. And what's unique about this show is not only are we going to be performing live for the audience, it's going to be live streamed. So if you have family better. who's out of state, can't come to the show, you can encourage them to buy tickets still, and they can still come and you know, see all their... And the NPHS networks of alumni groups. who are out there that can't make it back in town, they can still watch it live too, right? Yeah. Now, theater's got a long history at North Penn, right? 50 years, it's a long time. Um, but you're also part of the present day, and you guys have another show coming up really in just another week, right? So tell us about what's happening next week. Yeah, we do. It is big for North Penn Theater in these next couple weeks. Uh, so our show coming up is our fall show, Much Ado About Nothing. It's a romantic comedy uh, by Shakespeare. Uh, and there are actually going to be four show days uh, from that Thursday to that Sunday. Uh, all the shows up until Sunday are going to be at 7.30, and then the Sunday show is going to be at 2 o'clock for uh, all those early birds out there who want to get their theater in. Uh, and those ticket prices are going to be the same, $5 for students, $10 for adults, and it's going to be streamed as well. I'll tell you what, that Mrs. Roney, she might have to sleep the entire month of December. Not I to think, mention I, all of you guys. Yeah, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hibernate for sure after this. Good idea. All right, All Together Now is coming up Saturday night. It's the 50th anniversary of the storied history of North Penn High School Theater. So come on out to North Penn. $5 students, $10 adults, tomorrow evening right here. Nick, as they say in the biz, break a leg. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Monero. All right, let's send it back to Fiona and Bella at the desk. Thanks, guys. Did Mr. Brumbaugh stump you? Let's check in with Mr. Brumbaugh for the answer. Hey, welcome back. The answer you've all been waiting for. On this date, Josef Zhugashvili came to power. Now, many of you don't know the name Zhugashvili because he changed his name to Stalin, meaning man of steel. And the rest is history. Bet you didn't know that? Now you do. Thanks for playing this week's Brumball Challenge. Unfortunately, there was no winner this week, but hopefully there will be one next week. Remember that there is a big playoff game tonight at Crawford Stadium. Bring your ID. You will not be admitted without one. Saturday is the 50th anniversary show all together, now beginning at 7.30 p.m. Celebrate with current students and alumni from the past 50 years. And finally, and finally, in honor of Veterans Day, we would like to thank all of our veterans who work at North Penn High School. Thank you for your service. Thank you.